Alright, beautiful people of the internet, I've got something interesting to do, and it's really quite interesting. Um, quite recently, Victor, Joko, as well as Stefan got into this game, have been trying to hint at me to just try give it a shot. I watched him go through a demo, and I think it was really fun. So here it is. <laughs> Does this mean it's going to be on the channel? Um, probably yes. I am trying to get my head around how things work with this game. Uh, obviously it's going to be a learning process, so maybe more of those close-ups, less of the Song of Ice and Fire style reports, more of the Legion style because it helps me a ton with editing. Now this is going to be a bit different because this box set is a set that belongs to one of my good friends. Um, he basically, uh, I guess he's decided not to get into this game too much. So just pass all these things over to me at a very reasonable cost. Thank you, Sean. Um, so there we go. These are beautiful cards. I hope I don't get banned because of showing this one, but I think it should be all right. It's, it's everywhere on the internet. Um, this is the starter. I think it's really good value. Um, we've got, I don't know why he bagged up this Bruce. <laughs> Terrain. Wow. Now the terrain is actually really quite big compared to say our, what we're used to at 32mm um, Look, Daily Bugle, I can't wait to paint this up actually Going to be using a lot of airbrush Also planning to get an airbrush that's got a bigger nozzle The current one that I have is a 0.2 Tamiya Oh, he's built this one up as well Oh, that is so cool I guess this is for storage maybe um, Ooh, the movement tools This is awesome I will very likely paint this one up. Um, ooh. Wait, I have a feeling he's chucked in here the additional. Oops, I just break something. The additional things that. Yeah, there's a second box um, of. Oh, there we go. This is a side hinge. There's a second box of terrain. Mm, it's it's part of the exchange as well. Um, Trans obviously uh, dumped it all into one box for ease of transport. I'll repair this later. There's a little car, a taxi. So this is not your regular unboxing, obviously, but still I thought I'd, I'd be remiss not to share this. That's the cleaning company. I think in the Marvel Universe, basically, they're the ones who go out and clean up after Avengers, you know, when they destroy stuff. Ooh, and these are the amazing cards I've heard so much about. So the game, from what I've seen so far works very interesting you, you come together with your mates and you decide what um, missions you're gonna play and then from there you draw your heroes from a pool of 10 so in a way quite I, I guess somewhat similar to Malifaux where you have a collection from your collection you then draw down certain factions and because in, Mali uh, sorry, in Marvel Crisis Protocol there's no real factions you're basically picking 10 heroes and from those 10 you then pick a subset of individuals depending on the um, mission that you draw. So from what I've heard from Joko so far as well, the, um, this list changes, it's a live list. As new heroes get launched, they get new cards like this and you can actually um, assemble your own team. And they, they share things, they share like keywords and these keywords basically allow them to gain different abilities from these tactic cards. So these tactic cards are quite similar to, say for example, Song of Ice and Fire or Legion, um, but they are made visible to both opponents. I've got the different maps. This is very reminiscent to Legion. Um, just, just as a caveat here, I'm not like dumping Song of Ice and Fire or um, Legion. I'm still playing uh, those two games. I, I love them. I think there's room for uh, these three games to actually coexist. It's just that this this is a really good like one and a half hour, one hour kind of game where you play as, as you have time. So going back to these movement sticks as well, I think there is, yeah, there's two sets. There's definitely two sets in here. Hmm. Awesome. Oh wait, there's one set there, and there, there's another set here together with the tokens. This would be the turn counter as well as the score count, um, tracker. These are the additional ones. And he definitely bought extra dice. 
Good shout though. Good shout. Yep. That's a lot of dice. Well, it's enough basically for two players right here. So it'll be fantastic because that means that I can try to rope my wife into um, playing this. She's not a big uh, <laughs> Marvel fan, but I think it'd be fun because she's tried Malifaux with me so far. So, and also Song of Ice and Fire. So the rule book's inside. Um, the Serene Pack book is also inside. Yep, I'm right. So, so he's throwing it inside as well. Comes with all these lights, lampposts, um, coffee place. We've got it. assembly instructions. Fairly straightforward. I haven't seen the street lamps yet. Are they hidden somewhere? Ah, there enough. I knew it. Okay, cool. Yeah, they make sense not to glue these lids down. Trash bin. Awesome. So you can see the trash bin's pretty large. I I have quite normal size hands, so you can see how big this is. This is like the size of one, I guess, joint. Yeah. I find the PS4 controller small, so. There you go. The daily grind. Wow. So you've got the daily bugle and the daily grind. Marvel, they are a corny group of people, eh? Well, that's about, that's about it for the starter uh, set. I've got a few others in the bag. Uh, I do want to show them off to you guys as well. Um, one of the main reasons I actually really like this is because of this the, the miniatures. The miniatures are beautiful. Um, initially, I was thinking originally of just collecting these things without really like playing the game because the miniatures are that amazing. Um, when I was a kid, I think like many of us growing up in the 90s, um, I saw the toys that were on sale. They were really expensive back then. Uh, so I really couldn't afford anything. <laughs> so when, I, when these came out, I was thinking to myself, wow, wouldn't it be awesome to make my own toy or, or to paint my own toy? And that, that sparked the thing. And then when the rest of the boys at the club started going, hey, you've got to play this. I was like, okay, okay, fine keep tempting me <laughs> thank you um, but that's that's basically it um, it's it's nothing new I, I think you guys have seen this on the internet but for those who haven't do do consider checking it out it's an easy game to get into it's probably a bit more difficult master but like everything you know go with what you love um, and have a good one I hope you guys are having a good week see ya so I almost forgot the most important um, thing the miniatures <laughs> so here we go um, Captain America beautiful sculpt about I I would say about 35 mm um, if, if you ask me um, you've got the next Avenger is of course um, Captain Marvel beautiful we've got let's see who else is in there that we could show off it's beautiful Iron Man, Tony Stark himself. I can almost hear the reactor going. <laughs> We've got Black Widow. She's cool. Um, this is, I guess, more comic design than actual movie design. So you won't see the um, Scarlett Johansson look on her. Um, and then we also have Peter Parker. Don't know why the girders on the ground, but looks like I'm gonna have to dirty up that ground a little to make it look like rubble. So these are the five good guys that comes in the box. Then you of course have the bad guys. And who else but Captain America's arch nemesis, Red Skull. Then we've also got Avengers's Avengers um, Nemesis, Ultron. There's also a encounter where there's three players and two players can fight one player just playing as Ultron. So Ultron's like the big boss. It's a raid basically if you've played War World, uh, World of Warcraft before. Um, with Spider-Man you've got to have Doc Ock. There'll probably be Green Goblin further down the line. But at the moment Doc Ock looks awesome. Again comic book Doc Ock. You can see he's a bit more tubby. 
yeah and these are the guys that are not really in the movie you've got Baron Zemo like this fencing but then you have crossbones which I've heard is not the best guy but no look there's a piece of trash there hmm. I wonder if uh, Daenerys was the one who left it there <laughs> and then we've got two very unique heroes one which is part of the Avengers good old Hulk I'm really looking forward to painting this guy surprisingly clean ground for him but mm, just look at how big this model is um, let's take the normal size one you would probably consider like Scarlet uh, sorry um, yeah look at how large the Hulk is Black Widow is just there going I'm puny I I'm not like putting it like such that she's far behind it's it's right next to him like next to him Ugh, that's humongous insert that's what she said jokes here then you've got another big guy, um, Mr. Big Head himself. It's like Mr. Potato Head. That's farting. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, that's Modok. I never read his comic as a kid. Um, and oh, and also actually, if you guys are out there watching this, you know you play Marvel Crisis Protocol. You love the Marvel universe. Please point me in the right direction. I'm looking at either subscribing to Comixology Unlimited or Mal Unlimited. One which is five dollars US and the other one's about ten US a month. Um, it's basically a Netflix of, Netflix of comics. If either of you have tried it, I'd really like to know which one has all the Marvel comics in there. Um, if it's the Marvel Unlimited, um, you know, is there any limitations? I'd love to read all the original ones and also the new ones in 2018 i think they call them fresh start um yeah really like to hear what you guys think <laughs> these two are fairly large yeah i'm gonna be painting these guys with airbrushes it'll just cut down a lot of painting time and the blending <laughs> well that's it i hope you guys enjoyed that